Can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we held at the twilight's last gleaming whose brush drives in bright stars through the pain for all us fight all the ramparts we watched that were so gallantly streaming I want to begin by congratulating you for completing your South University degree program. As I look back over the past year, I am amazed at the class of 2021's ability to persevere against so many unknowns, to adapt to new opportunities, to collaborate, and to step up to support your communities. Class of 2021, you did not allow this time to slow you down, but instead you found ways to accomplish your goals and your dreams. As the world continues to accelerate past the pandemic, we are all reevaluating our priorities and using the lessons learned during this time to change how we approach our future. You are about to embark on a journey in a world that has learned the importance of connection, kindness, and community. The agility that you exemplified to get to this day has prepared you to handle the many obstacles that life may bring your way. I hope that as you enter the next life chapter that you use the momentum that you've gained at South University to help you shape a brighter future for all of us. You can do that by exhibiting grace, showing compassion, and living with flexibility. Approach every hurdle that you encounter with the curiosity and the tenacity that you gave here. Don't let the fear of the unknown define you. You haven't let that happen at South University, so continue to embrace challenges and opportunities as they come to you in your life. Again, congratulations graduates of the class of 2021 and now alumni of South University. I am so humbled to witness the start of your next journey. Graduates, families, friends, South University staff and faculty, welcome. Welcome to South University Columbia's 2021 commencement. Not only do I have the honor of standing before you as a member of the campus leadership team, I also stand with my graduating peers, a proud member of the 2021 graduating class. The journey to this moment was grueling, long. It was demanding and laden with obstacle after obstacle. Too often, the easy choice was to succumb to those obstacles, quit, throw in the towel, 
wave the white flag and yell to the world, I give up. Nope, not you. South University students are a different breed. We gladly don the mantle of a non-traditional student and we focus steadfastly on the objective. Many of us on this trip maintained full-time employment. We took care of kids and families. We cooked, we cleaned, we paid bills. We also amassed student debt and spent countless hours studying and writing papers until our fingertips were numb from typing as our bodies were from a lack of sleep. It did not matter. We signed up for a mission and abandoning that mission was not an acceptable choice. We stayed the course. Just when the speck of light appeared at the end of the tunnel, a global pandemic. One day we enjoyed one-on-one -on -one instruction in small, mid in small size classes, the modality of choice for South University students. The next day we were trying to figure out how to attend a virtual class. Do I click this link? Is there another link? Do I even have the right link? Many of us didn't have fancy laptops and attended virtual courses on a mobile device with limited connectivity. We were college students and instantly became school teachers, babysitters, health custodians for family and friends who contracted the virus. Some of us were patients of the deadly disease. The sudden classroom modality shift was hampered by more kinks than Kiko's. It compared to boarding a speeding train in a small rail station through a tiny door. But, but, I love that conjunction, conjunction as it typically means the best is yet to come. But given all the added demands, we persevered because once again, the only acceptable outcome was success. And another conjunction, here we are. I've dreamed of this day since October 24th, 2019. That dream included walking across the stage at the Columbia Metropolitan Convention Center with my mom, my dad, my sister, and friends in the audience screaming their heads off as my name was called. Alas, here we are, celebrating our accomplishment at a virtual ceremony. As an administrator, I get it, safety. As a graduate, I am disappointed, I am frustrated, and admit that it's not fair. I know many of you share that same feeling, Take comfort in this. Your family and friends are no less proud of you. As a matter of fact, they are probably prouder because you overcame all the opposing forces of the past year. It doesn't diminish your accomplishment. In fact, it speaks to your ability to adapt and show agility in your life. Recognize this fact. There has never, ever in South University's 121 years history, been a class faced this level of interference. Yet, as a collective, we found it within ourselves the fortitude to face down the challenges and to overcome. I am reminded of the spiritual of years gone by. We shall overcome. The lyrics tell us that we shall overcome. In fact, it tells us that three times. Those lyrics say, we shall overcome. We shall overcome. We shall overcome someday. Oh, deep in my heart, I do believe that we shall overcome someday. Class of 2021, today is that day. And we have overcome. Rock it out, class of 2021, and congratulations. Good afternoon. It's a great day at South University. My name is Walter Haversat. I am the veteran certifying official here at South University, and I've been here since 2002. 
both doing financial aid and Veterans Administration. Today, it gives me great extreme pleasure to congratulate all military personnel, veterans, children, and spouses of military personnel that have graduated over the past 2020-21 school year. After years of military service through the tragedy of war like Iraq, Afghanistan, Homeland Security, and other parts of the world, we salute you and say, thank you for your service. It is not only you that has the active member of the military, the active reserves, and National Guard that has gone through tormented times and tragedies, but also the families of the military personnel. Many families were separated from their loved ones during these times, noted, and they also had sacrificed while military members were overseas and assigned duties in other parts of our great nation and around the world. Many men and women in our military gave the ultimate sacrifice by giving their life for our country, our way of life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Let us all come to remember all the sacrifices that our men and women in uniform have given to us. You have all worked so hard while both in uniform and civilian attire. Today is a day that you should remember and cherish, graduation day. Give yourself a pat on the back for a job well done. It is certainly not easy to complete an education when there were so many obstacles that were placed in your way during your education. This year, due to COVID-19, as well as the prior year, it has been devastating that so many families got sick, jobs were lost, children had to stay home from school, and even more difficult for you, the family members. Both I and the South University salute you. Continue to march and achieve your goals and dreams. I wish you all the best, whatever you do. May God bless you, your families, South University students and alumni, and the United States of America. From a fellow Marine and VA certified official, Semper Fi to all. September 29th, 1999, Wayne Corbett was driving around Columbia, South Carolina with his wife, Gloria. Mr. Corbett spotted a small but rather intriguing school named Columbia Junior College. Being curious, he parked the car, and planning to stay only a moment, Gloria stayed in the car. Ann Patton, the president of the Columbia campus at the time, welcomed Mr. Corbett into her office, talked with him, and sent him home with a pile of books and a teaching schedule. The rest, as they say, is history. Mr. Corbett taught two decades and at least two generations of students. He started at Columbia Junior College and finished at South University. Former students come by to check who is still here. They always look for him. If not for the shift to virtual remote, he probably would still be here. He has taught upward of 400 courses, including public speaking, strategies for success, developmental English, English composition, history, and government. He has touched the lives of over 13,000 students. He has celebrated 20 years of entries and graduations. Being a 30-year Air Force veteran, he knows about persistence, determination, and commitment. He inspired students with his own personal story and reminded them that he does not give grades. He was simply the humble scribe who wrote in the grade book what they earned. Two statements, almost mantras, that he lived by and encouraged us to adopt include, give them enough rope to pull themselves up and always be the good guy. With these two mantras, Mr. Corbett would be thanked by students who earned A's, B's, or C's, as well as D's or F's. He was always the good guy. Mr. Corbett had a life story for every occasion. No matter who you were, you were drawn in, and you never regretted it because it was always entertaining and always had a message. Mr. Corbett was asked to write many a reference for students and faculty that he mentored. He took his job seriously and himself lightly. How else could he have inspired so many people to go to one more class, take one more test, and submit one more assignment? Mr. Corbett 
was the wind beneath many wings. Major Anthony Gentile is a 2019 graduate of the Master of Public Administration program within the College of Business at South University. Immediately after completing his master's degree from South University, Major Gentile was promoted to the rank of Major in the U.S. Army, South Carolina Army National Guard. He is an assistant professor of military science at the University of South Carolina and has long exuded the military values of loyalty, duty, respect, selfless service, honor, integrity, and personal courage. He has volunteered over 150 hours to the physical training and mentoring of students at Eau Claire High School in North Columbia through a program called the Corridor to Possibilities. This program serves underprivileged youth who are striving to become better citizens in their communities. He uses this position to stress the importance of continuing your development as a good person first and a lifelong learner through education and training. He has been an advocate of South University and the educational opportunities available here. Major Gentile maintains an active certification and employment as a law enforcement officer in the state of South Carolina with the state's law enforcement division, SLED, State Intelligence and Investigations Division. While on active duty orders within the U.S. Army, he has attended numerous schools in technical training, leadership, and teaching. He has served two tours of duty in Iraq. We sincerely thank him for his service. He received campaign medals for Operation Enduring Freedom and Operation Inherent Resolve. He was awarded the General Dozier Award as the best company grade officer in the South Carolina Army National Guard in 2015. He has been a member of the Delta Mu Delta International Honor Society in business since 2018 through the South University chapter. Major Gentile is a member of the School Improvement Council for Lexington School District 1 during this school year at Meadow Glen Elementary School. He serves as a volunteer assistant coach for the under seven years old SOAR soccer program in Columbia, South Carolina. This is a Christian-based soccer program for children in the local community. He has always taken pride in his degree from South University and proudly displays his master's degree certificate in his office at the University of South Carolina. He will tell anyone who asks and will listen all about his time as a working professional, father, and soldier, earning a 4.0 in the Master of Public Administration degree program at South University Columbia. He is the type of graduate who brings great credit to South University and to higher education. Fellow graduates, do join me in welcoming and congratulating, and congratulating the Alumni Achievement Award winner at South University Columbia 2021, Major Anthony Gentile. Major Gentile, thank you, welcome, congratulations. Hello, future South University alumni, distinguished guests, family and friends. I would like to say that I am honored and thrilled to accept this award. I would like to thank the South University staff, professors, the chancellor, and the president of the college. Above all, I'd like to thank God for this opportunity. Now I know you don't want to hear me speak, and when you saw me come up, you probably grabbed your phone and started scrolling through social media, looking for that next viral video, maybe on TikTok looking for that dance, but I tell you, if you stick with me for a couple minutes, I can give you some information that will help you. The first thing is, you will fail. Some of you have heard that from your South University professors. Others have not, but we will all fall short of our goals at times. It is important to develop resilience, the ability to bounce back from failure, to develop grit, the determination to persevere, to grit your teeth, to clench your teeth and move forward. We will all have our feelings hurt. You will be offended. But that's okay. It is your choice how you react. Failing is healthy. Don't let it break you down. 
It is your choice whether it breaks you down or builds you up. It can serve to motivate you. And when times are tough, you can recall that doubt and you can use it to fuel you. I encourage you to do so. Next, become self-aware. Study yourself. What are your strengths? What are your weaknesses? Put yourself in a position to accentuate your strengths and improve upon your weaknesses so they can one day become your strengths as well. Find out where you shine and put yourself in that position. Find out how to prepare. How do you prepare for tests? And use that in the professional world. Some of you thought that drinking a bang energy drink and staying up all night was the right way, but I tell you, it's not. We've all been there. Become a master of yourself, and it will really make you a better person. Self-awareness is one of the most important tenets of emotional intelligence, which will complement your studies here at South University very well. Lastly, be positive. Be a positive person because the wor world is full of negativity, full of negative people that want to bring you down constantly. No one needs another negative person in their life. Be a leader and a person who builds people up, who makes them feel valued and loved. Find a reason to praise people every day. Praise them in public. Compliment them on their good work. And above all, smile. It's all right. The world is a better place. I'll leave you with a quote from Abraham Lincoln. He said, I will prepare, and someday my chance will come. Well, guess what? South University has prepared you, and your chance is here, now. You can go out and change the world. Congratulations on this enormous achievement. God bless, and thank you very much. Hello, and welcome to South University at Columbia's 2021 commencement ceremony. I will try to be mindful of the great advice given by my wife when she reminded me that no one ever complained about a speech being too short. I do want to seize this, this rare opportunity to welcome, to congratulate, to recognize, and to challenge each of you graduates today. It is indeed an honor for me to welcome all of you, graduates, faculty, staff, alumni, friends, and especially you, you parents and spouses, children and significant others to South University at Columbia's 2021 commencement. Congratulations to each of you on this most significant, memorable day and exciting day in your life. In just a few minutes, you will be receiving degrees that symbolize many years of diligent work and study. Degrees that you have dreamed of and worked so hard to attain. Degrees that you have definitely earned. The diploma you are about to receive signifies to the world that you have met or exceeded all of the appropriate collegiate standards and expectations. I would also like to take a moment to commend and, and congratulate our faculty and staff whose dedication to excellence and caring about each of you is also represented in your achievement. Graduates, our world needs bright, dedicated, focused, visionary achievers such as you. Regardless of the incredible challenges associated with COVID-19, South University did its very best to keep you safe and provide the courses you needed while pursuing, pursuing your degree. In closing, I encourage each of you to combine your, your God-given talents with what you have learned. Go forward with unbridled enthusiasm, un, unwavering confidence, and a firm belief that you will and must make a significant and positive impact on the world around you. Dream, set goals, seek and accept responsibility, and always have a vision of a better world. Remember, you truly can make a difference. I would certainly feel guilty if I didn't share two pieces of, pieces of advice. One, 
being faced with difficult challenges is really a part of life. You've experienced that so far. And you will continue to experience that throughout your life. Just understand and know that a belief in a super being was, has made a difference in how you face these challenges. You should be an integral part of your very being. And second, enjoy your work. Look for the positive and genuine positive attitude will make a difference in your life. Again, I congratulate each of you, and I sincerely hope that you will always have time in your life and a spot in your heart for your alma mater, your South University at Columbia. Thank you. It is my privilege to be here today uh, to joyfully um, join in uh, celebrating uh, and honoring our students, soon to be graduates, uh, for successfully completing the requirements for South University's degrees. Your commitment and determination is exhibited by attending your degree as a distance learner, on-campus learner, or virtual learner, places you among the very best of dedicated learners. Many people may not think too deeply about the academic apparel required for the graduation ceremony. A graduate cap and gown has a history that is a long one dating back centuries. The use of academic regalia can be based uh, and traced to medieval European universities, where the academic costume was worn to distinguish the wearers from the rest of the population. The apparel had an ornamental as well as a unum, uh, utilitarian function. By looking at the regalia, uh, one could determine the degree or degrees a person owned where the highest degree had been earned, and what academic discipline the person had studied. At the same time, the gown, the hood, and the cap served a very useful purpose of keeping the scholar warm and protected. Medieval universities were unheated uh, in the winter, and the gown provided warmth. The hood, which could be pulled over the head, protected one from the inclement weather. American colleges and universities adopted similar gowns, hoods, and caps from European universities. And today, there's generally a uniformity in the regalia. Please note that during the ceremony, um, you will hear certain graduates recognized for outstanding academic achievements. Graduate students earned the distinction of high honors and honors. Undergraduates receive Latin honors, summa cum laude, the highest, magna cum laude, and cum laude, based on their cumulative grade point average. We are pleased to recognize them for completing their programs of study with outstanding grades and averages. South University will present candidates for graduation in the College of Arts and Sciences, College of Business, College of Health Professionals, and the College of Nursing and Public Health. Deke Vis L. Adams, Doctor of Pharmacy. A.Z. Angela Adam, Doctor of Pharmacy. Shayla Black, Doctor of Pharmacy. Katie E. Branham, Doctor of Pharmacy. Anna M. Bright, Doctor of Pharmacy. Honors. Natalie M. Cowan. Doctor of Pharmacy. Diasaya Hoag. Doctor of Pharmacy. Honors. Tambrea Johnson. Doctor of Pharmacy. Saad Shah M. Lee. Doctor of Pharmacy. Peter Mansour. Doctor of Pharmacy Tyler P. McDaniel Doctor of Pharmacy Lee Lee in Indian Efo Doctor of Pharmacy
Armel, S. and Jilman, Jingwit. Doctor of Pharmacy. Honors. Elizabeth Perez Andujar. Doctor of Pharmacy. Brittany S. Priolo. Doctor of Pharmacy. Victoria Reed. Doctor of Pharmacy. Mia Y. Reed. Doctor of Pharmacy. Tiffany A. Sandra Patty. Doctor of Pharmacy. Lai T. Tran. Doctor of Pharmacy. Heather D. Young. Doctor of Pharmacy. Sinobia L. Miller. Doctor of Pharmacy. David Chapel. Postgraduate Certificate in Family Nurse Practitioner. Honors. Janie D. Hamilton. Postgraduate Certificate in Family Nurse Practitioner. Bridget Reddick. Postgraduate Certificate in Family Nurse Practitioner. Honors. Hannah Karsten Craig. Postgraduate Certificate in Family Nurse Practitioner. Honors. Alicia S. Abdullah. Master of Science in Nursing. Beryl N. S. Akafan. Master of Business Administration. High Honors. Sharon Adams. Master of Science in Nursing. Siri K. Akwiembi. Master of Business Administration. Taylor Bankhead. Master of Science in Criminal Justice. Jessica Barnes. Master of Arts in Clinical Mental Health Counseling. Desiree B. Bishop. Master of Arts in Clinical Mental Health Counseling. Honors. Laverne Blair. Master of Public Administration. Honors. Richard L. Bond. Master of Healthcare Administration. Shaquilla Boulware. Master of Arts in Clinical Mental Health Counseling. High Honors. Kayla C. Brown. Master of Science in Nursing. Jamila K. Bird. Master of Business Administration. Candace L. Canty. Master of Business Administration. High Honors. Gianna Arcarino. Master of Arts in Clinical Mental Health Counseling. High Honors. Christina Clevenger. Master of Arts in Clinical Mental Health Counseling. Kayla L. Cloud. Master of Arts in Clinical Mental Health Counseling. Honors. As we go on, we remember all the times we Quanisha S. Corley. Master of Healthcare Administration. Honors. Michael Crowley. Master of Healthcare Administration. Amy Kniff. Master of Public Administration. High Honors. Laketcha H. Dantzler. Master of Public Administration. Carlicia R. Davis. Master of Business Administration. Jessica L. D. Balt. Master of Arts in Clinical Mental Health Counseling. High Honors. Tyara L. Dupuy. Master of Arts in Clinical Mental Health Counseling. High Honors. Darlene G. Earl. Master of Arts in Clinical Mental Health Counseling. Congratulations to myself and the class of 2021. Thank God. Also, my family and friends. I'm just happy. I'm finished. I am done. Stella E. A. Cure. Master of Arts in Clinical Mental Health Counseling. Honors. 
James Gore. Master of Healthcare Administration. Andrea M. Green. Master of Business Administration. High Honors. Carolyn Gregory. Master of Public Administration. Samaria Greer. Master of Science in Criminal Justice. I just want to thank family and friends that me through this journey. She mastered it. Go class of 2021. Brittany Haynes. Master of Science in Nursing. Lashana Hardy. Master of Science in Criminal Justice. Annie Heath. Master of Arts in Clinical Mental Health Counseling. Sandra Y. Herbert. Master of Healthcare Administration. Honors. Ambra Hill. Master of Business Administration. Vashanda Hunter. Master of Science in Nursing. Tracy E. Jenkins. Master of Business Administration. Hardly Johnson. Master of Science in Criminal Justice. High Honors. Kiana J. Jones. Master of Healthcare Administration. Madina Jukaban, Master of Science in Nursing, High Honors. Bridget L. Kelly, Master of Business Administration. Darlin Kerr, Master of Healthcare Administration. Honors. Laetta Morissa King. Master of Healthcare Administration. Honors. Elijah Daniel Lax, Jr. Master of Science in Leadership. High Honors. Congratulations, Dan. Thank you. Susan Yu Law, Master of Science in Criminal Justice. High honors. All right, do it again. Jacqueline D. Leverett, Master of Science in Nursing. Hazel Lewis, Master of Healthcare Administration. Lawanda Mack, Master of Arts in Clinical Mental Health Counseling. Honors. Tashima Martin, Master of Arts in Clinical Mental Health Counseling. Latanya E. Maxwell, Master of Business Administration. Lintia D. McCleary, Master of Arts in Clinical Mental Health Counseling. High honors. Porsche Montgomery, Master of Science in Nursing. Portia C. Moore, Master of Science in Nursing. Hillary N. Mosley, Master of Business Administration. Honors. Terence Nanji, Master of Business Administration. Honors. Matilda M. Enchafor. Master of Business Administration. High Honors. Jermaine N. Na. Master of Business Administration. High Honors. Selena Ndugi. Master of Arts in Clinical Mental Health Counseling. High Honors. Tiana A. Owens. Master of Business Administration. High Honors. Binal Patel, 
Master of Business Administration. High Honors. Ridley Patel. Master of Business Administration. Honors. By Nida Patel. Master of Business Administration. Honors. Carlos A. Paxtor. Master of Science in Nursing. Daryl R. Peoples. Master of Healthcare Administration. High Honors. Don A. Phillips, Master of Arts in Clinical Mental Health Counseling, Honors. Taylor E. Radley, Master of Science in Nursing. Welby L. Ramos, Master of Arts in Clinical Mental Health Counseling, Honors. Michelle Reinsmith, Master of Arts in Clinical Mental Health Counseling, High Honors. Tiara Riley, Master of Science in Criminal Justice. Cecil Rogers, Master of Healthcare Administration. Camilla E. Ross, Master of Science in Nursing. Daryl C. Ruff, Master of Business Administration. Rendale C. Samuel, Master of Arts in Clinical Mental Health Counseling. Emily Q. Shahada, Master of Business Administration. Mietra Chaubert, Master of Arts in Clinical Mental Health Counseling. Coretta Scott Simtownji, Master of Business Administration. Honors. Gertrude Octavia Maria Simmons, Master of Arts in Clinical Mental Health Counseling. High Honors. Brittany N. Singletary, Master of Science in Nursing. E. K. M. Smith, Master of Business Administration. High Honors. Anthony D. Spikes, Master of Science in Criminal Justice. High Honors. Mary Beth L. Stanley, Master of Arts in Clinical Mental Health Counseling. Honors. John D. Stroman, Master of Arts in Clinical Mental Health Counseling. High Honors. April Regina Sumter, Master of Arts in Clinical Mental Health Counseling. High Honors. Gabriel Susino, Master of Arts in Clinical Mental Health Counseling. High Honors. Stephen M. Tackett. Master of Science in Nursing. Honors. Tonia P. Tash. Master of Science in Nursing. Ron Nia P. Tate. Master of Business Administration. Erica Thompson. Master of Science in Nursing. Amber Timmons. Master of Science in Nursing. High Honors. Wendy Beat Sotidzum. Master of Business Administration. High Honors. Maria Washington. Master of Healthcare Administration. Natasha Washington. Master of Arts in Clinical Mental Health Counseling. High Honors. Tony K. Watkins. Master of Healthcare Administration. Kim Nisha Weaver, Master of Arts in Clinical Mental Health Counseling. High Honors. Tony A. Williams, Master of Public Administration. Tequandria Anne Wright, Master of Arts in Clinical Mental Health Counseling. High Honors. Alexian Mashai Abel, Bachelor of Science in Healthcare Management. 
Tiffany Archie, Bachelor of Science in Public Health, Della M. Barr, Bachelor of Science in Public Health, Magna Cum Laude, Demond E. Baxter, Bachelor of Science in Public Health, Marissa Bethia, Bachelor of Science in Healthcare Management, David M. Blanding, Bachelor of Arts in Psychology, Tamaro N. Bowman, Bachelor of Business Administration, Zaria Deligia Arsenia Brown, Bachelor of Science in Healthcare Management, Amanda M. Bryant, Bachelor of Science in Public Health, John Michael Bryant, Bachelor of Science in Nursing, Dissa J. Cardenas, Bachelor of Science in Public Health, Magna Cum Laude, Zipporah Colvin, Bachelor of Science in Nursing, Vicky R. Daniels, Bachelor of Arts in Psychology, Shanice Dunn, Bachelor of Business Administration, Talisha Durham, Bachelor of Science in Nursing, Raquel L. Fields, Bachelor of Science in Nursing, Kirsten C. Fields, Bachelor of Science in Criminal Justice, Taylor Renee Fishbach, Bachelor of Science in Nursing, Ernest J. Fletcher, Bachelor of Science in Healthcare Management, Cum Laude, Tanisha Nicole Foster, Bachelor of Science in Nursing, Jalisa Franklin, Bachelor of Science in Criminal Justice, Melinda Gillian, Bachelor of Science in Nursing, Quentin A. Grant, Bachelor of Science in Information Technology. Camille L. Gray. Bachelor of Business Administration. Congratulations to the graduating class of 2021 from South University. Cheryl Renee Hammonds. Bachelor of Science in Criminal Justice. Thank you, Laura, for this great accomplishment. Thank you, friends and family. Mom, Amario, for pushing me along the way. Sandy Dahl Hare. Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Magna Cum Laude. Shervella Harris. Bachelor of Science in Health Sciences. Charity W. Harrison. Bachelor of Science in Healthcare Management. Lindsay N. Hazabar. Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Roshonda L. Hayes. Bachelor of Science in Criminal Justice. Haley M. Horn. Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Jolisa Lynn James. Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Matthew Jameson. Bachelor of Business Administration. Samuel E. Jenkins, Bachelor of Science in Information Technology. Kalina D. Johnson, Bachelor of Business Administration. I want to send a shout out to all of my family and friends. Thanks for all the support. I love you and I graduated. Jamar A. King, Bachelor of Business Administration. Magna Cum Laude, Jalen Lindsay, Bachelor of Arts in Psychology, Anna Marie Myone, Bachelor of Science in Public Health, Summa Cum Laude, Donald L. Manning, Bachelor of Business Administration, Magna Cum Laude. I graduated high school in 1984. 
I graduated college in 2021. If I can do it, you can do it. Cynthia Mayers, Bachelor of Arts in Psychology. Cheryl B. Mayfield, Bachelor of Business Administration. Cum Laude. Lakeisha M. McComb, Bachelor of Arts in Psychology. Ashley Nicole McDaniel, Bachelor of Arts in Psychology. Evan R. Meadows, Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Tiffany Milligan, Bachelor of Business Administration. John P. Morera, Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Brianna R. Olachek, Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Leticia F. Ori, Bachelor of Science in Public Health. Kiata Sierra Osby, Bachelor of Science in Healthcare Management. Kevin Owens, Bachelor of Science in Criminal Justice. Arnisha Lunay Parrish. Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Catherine Rebecca Pitts. Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Brianna Elaine Price. Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Alvin T. Robinson, Bachelor of Science in Legal Studies, Magna Cum Laude. I want to thank the staff and faculty at South University, especially Dr. Horner and Dr. Taylor. Mom and Dad, this is for you. Maria Rodriguez, Bachelor of Business Administration, Cum Laude. Leslie Salinas. Bachelor of Science in Public Health. De Vincent E. Samuel. Bachelor of Science in Healthcare Management. Brihona Sanders. Bachelor of Science in Public Health. Nicole Shell. Bachelor of Science in Information Technology. Makila Simon. Bachelor of Science in Legal Studies. Sarah J. Smith. Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Ivy N. Smith. Bachelor of Science in Criminal Justice. Joseph Staples. Bachelor of Arts in Psychology. Naya L. Stinson. Bachelor of Science in Public Health. Magna Cum Laude. Kaylee I.L. Sol. Bachelor of Arts in Psychology. Magna Cum Laude. Quashon A. Sykes. Bachelor of Science in Healthcare Management. Tequila A. Taylor. Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Shakir Terry. Bachelor of Science in Healthcare Management. Magna Cum Laude. Veronica D. Thomas. Bachelor of Science in Public Health. David Valdario. Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Cum Laude. Samuel M. Weldon. Bachelor of Science in Public Health. Magna Cum Laude. Tony Wirtz. Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Deborah A. Williams, Bachelor of Business Administration. Gilbert Williams, Bachelor of Business Administration. Angel Willingham, Bachelor of Business Administration. Magna Cum Laude. Janita Willis, Bachelor of Science in Public Health. Cum Laude. Kiana A. Will Smith, Bachelor of Arts in Psychology, Magna Cum Laude, Tony O. Weish, 
Bachelor of Science in Criminal Justice. Magna Cum Laude. Virginia R. Arndt. Associate of Science and Occupational Therapy Assistant. Abigail M. Bagley. Associate of Science and Occupational Therapy Assistant. Magna Cum Laude. Amy L. Bellisle. Associate of Science and Physical Therapist Assistant. Summa Cum Laude. Danny Beville. Associate of Science and Occupational Therapy Assistant. Magna Cum Laude. Amy Burchett. Associate of Science and Physical Therapist Assistant. Cum Laude. Jordan L. Carter. Associate of Science and Physical Therapist Assistant. Summa Cum Laude. Eileen Digney. Associate of Science and Occupational Therapy Assistant. Cum Laude. Jamika Dixon. Associate of Science and Occupational Therapy Assistant. Candace Dunbar. Associate of Science and Occupational Therapy Assistant. Natasha Griffin. Associate of Science and Physical Therapist Assistant. Alicia Harley. Associate of Science and Occupational Therapy Assistant. Summa Cum Laude. Chantel B. Johnson. Associate of Science and Medical Assisting. Catherine Nicole Campa. Associate of Science and Occupational Therapy Assistant. Magna Cum Laude. Crystal Ukeet. Associate of Science and Physical Therapist Assistant. Ashley Kelly. Associate of Science and Occupational Therapy Assistant. Langston T. Kennedy. Associate of Science and Physical Therapist Assistant. Magna Cum Laude. Terry R. Larkin. Associate of Science and Occupational Therapy Assistant. Ashley K. LaBeouf. Associate of Science and Physical Therapist Assistant. Cum Laude. Jordan N. Mann. Associate of Science and Occupational Therapy Assistant. Shannon Manning. Associate of Science and Physical Therapist Assistant. Cum Laude. Santanu McDaniel. Associate of Science and Physical Therapist Assistant. Brittany Morris. Associate of Science and Physical Therapist Assistant. Summa Cum Laude. Nyasha Nelson. Associate of Science and Physical Therapist Assistant. Brooklyn Newman. Associate of Science and Physical Therapist Assistant. Kevionia J. Pollard. Associate of Science and Occupational Therapy Assistant. Jalen Pratt. Associate of Science and Physical Therapist Assistant. Gabriella Quarles. Associate of Science and Physical Therapist Assistant. Tamisha Scott. Associate of Science and Occupational Therapy Assistant. Cum Laude. Dakia Shiver. Associate of Science in Paralegal Studies. Chelsea L. Smith. Associate of Science in Occupational Therapy Assistant. Kiana A. Stevenson. Associate of Science in Occupational Therapy Assistant. Jerrica A. Strain. Associate of Science in Physical Therapist Assistant. Magna Cum Laude. Jordan Feely. Associate of Science and Physical Therapist Assistant. Heather E. Thompson. Associate of Science and Physical Therapist Assistant. Summa Cum Laude. Jocelyn Thompson. Associate of Science and Occupational Therapy Assistant. Cum Laude. Amanda F. Wessel. Associate of Science and Medical Assisting. 
thank you to my friends and loved ones for sticking by me and for helping me to honor the memory of my father and complete my goals. Teresa Y. Wilson, Associate of Science in Paralegal Studies. Rachel Walitsky, Associate of Science in Physical Therapist Assistant. Summa Cum Laude. Anna M. Yonchak, Associate of Science in Physical Therapist Assistant. Magna Cum Laude. Graduates, with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities thereto appertaining, I now pronounce you graduates of South University. Congratulations. Congratulations, South Grads, you did it. Congratulations, class of 2021. I've probably taught most of you in one class or another, and I think you've all done great. Now go out there and make yourself proud. Congratulations on receiving the Bachelor of Science in Public Health. Only 39% of the U.S. population has earned a bachelor's degree, and you are now part of that group. Congratulations, and don't forget to celebrate this achievement. Congratulations, psychology graduates, including veterans, those who are high gamma mu candidates, those who've made the presence list, the dean's list, and all psychology graduates, you did it. Congratulations, South University class of 2021. Job well done. Hey graduates, Mark with the ASC. Just glad that you are graduating, finally. I know you feel a sense of accomplishment. We're so happy for you. Uh, hope you found some help while you were here and now you're ready to go help others. Congratulations and get out there and affect the world. Congratulations, South Grads 2021. Whatever your professors tell you about visiting them in the classroom or their offices, you are always welcome at the library. So come visit me after graduation. Hey, SU grad. Yes, I'm talking to you. Hey, SU grad, we're so proud of you. You came to school, you did your work, you passed your test, see you're the best. And now you're here getting your degree, so go and be all you can be. Hey, SU grad. Hey, SU grad. Yes, I'm talking to you. We're talking to you. Hey, SU grad. Hey, SU grad. We're so proud of you. We're so proud of you. So when you go to work and you own your job, you've got to stand tall and give your all. You've got to be your best. Don't settle for less and let your light shine with your creative mind. Let your light shine with your creative mind. You from South U. You know what? You know what to do. You know what to do. You from South U. You from South U. You know what to do. You know what to do. Congratulations, class.